All right. What's up, Jenny? How you doing? Mission complete, sir. Well done. You've taken to the skills I taught you and made them your own. I still do not have word of where the traitor is hiding, but I will inform you of the moment I do. Until then, continue your training. About hot barring classes? What do you mean by that? Hot barring classes. Welcome, Paladin. You should know that word of your deeds has reached me. Few are those who follow the true Paladin path without misstep. But you are one of them. I am proud to call you brother. You have kept the faith, and in return, I must have faith in you. It is time that you knew the truth, though it is hard to share. For it is a shame I would rather keep hidden from outsiders. Why am I always an outsider to everybody? <laughs> like everywhere I go in this game. Perhaps you remember when I told you of the traitor and the sword oathkeeper that he stole. His name is... Sog... Sog... Sogzackle! Sogzackle! I'm gonna call him Sol. Sol, and he was my predecessor as captain of the Sultan Sworn Elite. Yes, he was the same man whom I had admired as a child, who inspired me to take up the sword and follow the way of the Paladin. He was the paragon of Paladins until, that is, he changed. Some years ago now, there was a struggle for influence between the Sultanate military and a faction within the syndicate known as the monetarists. Mon monetarists. The latter emerged triumphant and the army's authority was diminished dramatically. Although Sol was still captain of the Sultan's sworn elite, he knew his position was perilous, so he fled, taking Oathkeeper with him. In doing so, he went against the words that he had spoken on bended knee before his royal liege. Now, it falls to me as captain to restore the honor and name of the Sultan Sworn, and it means cutting down my fo If that means cutting down my former mentor and master, I would do it gladly, for his misdeed cannot be forgiven. But his death will not lift the stain that mars our name. He must be put on trial in public court, so that everyone knows his crimes. Then and only then can we begin to earn the people's trust again. He served for over 30 years as captain of the Sultan Sworn Elite, and he is a formidable foe. Few can match his skill with the sword. Even together, you and I will find it difficult to take him alive without mortal harm to one side or the other. So you must continue to hone your skills and prepare for that day when we face him. To complete your next stage of training, you must go do this. Go to the Ugram River in eastern Thanalon and find the Brazier, another Brazier. We have place there. Lost interest in reading the rest of the quest as soon as he's like, Alright, go here, kill this. Eastern Thanalon. Which is Drybone, yep, as I thought. Camp Drybone, go! Oh, that's cool. You can see the uh, the Chocobo's steps have like a like a wet splash. See the guy in front of me just then? That was cool. They did a good job, of, actually, a really good job of uh, sound effects and and little touches like that. Like I noticed the difference in the way that um, my Chocobo's uh, footsteps sound on different uh, types of different types of uh, surfaces. Like when he runs into sand, it really sounds like a kind of like a gravelly sand kind of sound. It's really good. Okay, here we are. Brazier, again. Let's do it. What is it this time? Pugles? Kidding me?
Next. Done, son. Where, where we go? That was a lot smoother now that I'm uh, better understanding where my keys are using all this stuff. Oh, it's good. Alright, back to Jenny. A few, yes. They brought a few from uh, Eleven over here. Mastered your new skill. But much work remains to be done. Not that much, I don't think. Why do I not have my sword in my hand? I don't understand that. <laughs> like, didn't I have my 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 lance when I was doing like the the dragoon and and lancer quests? I had my lance in my hand. I was like, yeah. It wasn't like this empty like like I'm I'm holding like some giant's dong above me or something like that. Like <laughs> kind of hand position. I actually had something there. Welcome, friend. I have important news for you. In my search for the traitor, I have been looking through old records and discovered something chilling. Around the time that the traitor's soul was named Captain, several famed soldiers of the Sultan Swarm met with untimely deaths. But strangely, our records do not say how they died. Curious, I begged the favor of an old friend and received permission to inspect medical records kept from or kept by Frondale's uh, frontistry. Fr frontistry? I discovered that the soldiers died in various ways, some in combat, some suddenly at night in the barracks, but it never, it nearly, in nearly every case there were signs that poison had played a role in their demise. Yes, poison. Carefully, invisibly administered. The more I read, the more I saw the dark hand of death's embrace at work. Assassins. In the pay of the service of the monot Monet monet the monetarists or is it tarists terrorists I don't know how to pronounce that exactly a society so secretive that few believe it truly exists but no matter how skilled and devious the assassins they should not have been able to kill so many of the Sultan sworn elite without being discovered not that is without help from within our own ranks so I asked myself who had the most to gain from their desks their deaths. One by one, the former captain, his trusted aides, the most capable of the Sultan Swarm, who might become the future commanders, all of them, slain by an invisible hand, and with their deaths, the way was open for Sol to become Sultan Sword's youngest captain in the century. The monetarists were plotting to kill the best and bravest of the Sultan Swarm to purge its ranks of greatness, and Enervate it so that it could no longer carry on out its duties to serve as sword and shield of the Sultanate. Which begs the question, how did Sol remain captain for 30 long years? How did he avoid the poisoner's kiss when men better than him had succumbed? There can be only one explanation. He was the monetarist's cast cat's paw, the turncoat in our midst. 
Needless to say, I am more determined to track him down than ever before. While I continue my investigation, I have a trial for you. Let me guess. <laughs> Go kill something, come back. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of different, uh, in Alamigo. Little Alamigo, that is. Alright, here we go. Little Alamigo. Alright, here we are. Aha, I see. That should have stopped him. Finish him. Oh wait a minute! Hang on. We're this is this is when we're obtaining the armor. I didn't even read it like up there in the uh, in the quest list, but as soon as I saw it pop up there as Galant armor, I was like, wait a minute! This is when we're gonna start picking up the armor from here. Excellent. So wait, what is this then? This is uh, forty. Oh yeah, this is forty-five. Okay, cool. this stuff. Okay. Okay. Cool, let's do it. Alright, so next up.
Oh, have you seen these guys yet? They remind me kind of of uh, orcs from Final Fantasy XI a little bit. Big heavy builds. Pretty badass looking. They're another reason why I like Ulda and, and Thunalon. Because uh, they have really cool looking like uh, beastmen enemies. Like the Ixol or, Ex or Exol or whatever they are from uh, Gridania. Just, they're annoying. That's all they are. They're just annoying. Not in not intimidating at all. Just laughable. Alright, here we go. Casting. Man, whatever that caster was doing, he turned that battle in, into something completely different. Which reminds me... I have some potions I've been meaning to put onto my uh, my action bar. Yeah, but the da it wasn't just stone skin. He was doing something. They were doing something different with their damage. I don't think I should jump from here. I don't think I can either. Uh, let's see. So how do we? Ah, oh, I think I see. This way. I'm attempting stuns when he's casting, it still doesn't seem to stop him, so... I mean, I it's like, every time he I stun him, he, he immediately recovers anyway, so... It doesn't really seem to be stunning him, and I'm... No, I'm going the right way. Alright, so we got three out of the four pieces. We just need to go down here now. Ah, I see. Little bridge over there. Alright, almost done here. I'm getting hungry. Should have took advantage. What the hell is that? A 
fire sprite. Wow. That... Huh. That's interesting looking. I need to be careful that I don't accidentally hit that thing. Alright. You again. That one actually worked. Up and get out of here. Nice. 